You know, Pippi, you're kind of a mysterious character, you know, that you're hanging out in a coffin. We didn't name you like we did all the other characters at the beginning. And you don't seem to have any sort of weapon, and yet you're growing as a fighter much better than Ness ever did. What exactly is up with you, huh, Pippi? So right now we could go to the mayor and report that we've saved the girl, but instead we're gonna go and resolve a plotline we could have done technically before getting Pippi, which is this canary chick we picked up in the, in the department store. No hunting. Approaching the Canary Village Wildlife Refugee. So we were told about the Canary Village a little bit ago, and we picked up the Canary Chick at the pet store, so it's only right that we bring it here. This is a good time to grind if you would like to, because Pippi here has become such an incredible force. Like, I'll just go ahead and do guard with Ninten. Look at how much damage Pippi is doing. Well, 23. Not a crit. You know, not the best weapon we could have in this point in the game. We could technically save up for the wooden bat. Although only Ninten could use it. But Pippi did 23 damage, just one shot that centipede. You could easily grind at this point in the game with very little worries. Thing is though, is that you have to go through that whole bit with the zombies and the ghosts and the bats in the cemetery to even get to Pippi, so... I wouldn't recommend going there until you're at least level 3 or 4, maybe even 5. Here we have the Canary Village, very nice place. We have this bird here. Hey there. Huh. Nintend can talk to animals, but it seems this bird didn't want to talk to us. It really seems like none of the birds here in Canary Village want to talk to us at all. Yeah, they all don't have anything to say. Wow, that canary is the baby of singing Laura. Will you return the baby to her? Yeah. Where is Laura? We need to find singing Laura the bird. Which, you will notice this one a structure here. I, it makes me think it's a gravestone, but I don't think it is. This one thing here is different colored. And we can actually go behind it. And this bird right here is, as a matter of fact, singing Laura. Well, we can go ahead and give you back your canary chick. Overjoyed with her reunion, Laura began singing. So with that, we learned another tune. Hypothetically, we didn't have to do this for a really long time. We could have just walked around the whole world with a canary chick in our pocket. We also technically could have done this a lot sooner than we did. We could have come here before getting Pippi. But you know, the more the merrier, as they say. Oh, my little Pippi, you're back and safe. Thank you for finding her, Ninten. By the way, the town mayor is waiting for you. Pippi, go with Ninten and straighten this out. Huh. Um, you don't want to just, just have your daughter back now? You, we really need to arrange something with the town mayor? You see the lost girl, Pippi? Well, that's just great. I knew that you could fulfill your civic duty. Applause, applause. Now, pretty Pippi, don't forget to tell your mom that the mayor saved you. Here, I'll give Nintendo a prize of $100. By the way, hero, maybe you'd like to go see what's up at the zoo. Yes, you'll go. Great, great. And make sure to get a key from my assistant, Abbott. Now it's time to say goodbye. Please come by my house. I'll be waiting there to see you again. By the way, do you think my hair needs styling? Um... Uh, Jaina, what do you think? I mean, you're fine rocking the pigtails and all. You didn't have to answer, cutie. <laughs> okay. Uh, Abbott, you give us the key to the zoo, which is north of Podunk here. And so yeah, Pippi has left our party. She's actually, well, gone. She's not gonna be in our party anymore for the rest of the game. And that's kind of the answer to why, well, she wasn't a character we named at the beginning. She's not considered a main party member of the game. She is technically a playable character in the same sense that, like, Biggs and Wedge are in Final Fantasy VI. That's another reason people take that opportunity to grind with Ninten, because Pippi's about to leave our party and we're back to being on our own lonesome self. So preparing ourselves by doing a bit of grinding while we have two party members, it seems ideal. I suppose I could have picked up the wooden bat at the sports part of the department store. Oh well. Here we have the sign. The City Zoo, 700 meters west. Y you're not gonna tell us what's east? Okay then. Around the City Zoo here we have a lot of these, well, animals to fight. We have alligators, hyenas, uh, gorillas, and elephants. Some of these guys are incredibly strong. I really wish we could have done this whole city zoo part uh, with Pippi in our party, but unfortunately we don't get the key to the zoo until after we turn her back into the mayor. Here we have a monkey. Hey there. Um, I thought we could talk animal. Why? Uh, uh, the monkey stole the zoo key. Uh, the lock was broken so Nintendo opened the door. Well, I guess that works all the same. 
I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to handle this area of the game. Okay, looks like the hyenas ran away. Uh, I'm getting a phone call. This is your dad. Now, son, it's none of my business, but why not rest? So he gives us the option to rest. Does this send us back to our house? Uh, oh, is this just a save? Wait. Um. Okay, we're back here. Our health is exactly the same. That did nothing. He just was literally talking to the player asking us to take a break from the game. Interesting. Nintendo was doing that even back in the NES days, apparently. Oh, uh, these trees. They're a bit of a maze. I wish there were maps of individual places. This map shows us, well, we're there, I guess, in relation to the other towns. But we don't have a map of the zoo itself to allow us to see where we need to go. Also, this elephant is probably not gonna be nice. Just something gives me that feeling. Elephant's attack... Oh yeah, 10 damage. Um... Nintendo, we might want to score a crit or a dodge. Just some way we can get the upper hand in this battle. Because, I don't know, a kid versus an elephant probably won't go well most of the time. Even if we do have psychic powers. Speaking of psychic powers, a Nintendo, you might want to heal up now. <laughs> yeah, we've been hitting this thing like crazy and it's not going down. I mean, it is an elephant, I suppose. Ninten, we really need to score a dodge or a crit or something. There you go, there's a crit. It's still coming at us? Okay. Please, thank you. Wow, that elephant was something alright. Hey, at least we got another level. <laughs> um. Ooh, we don't have any means of healing ourselves right now. We don't have enough power to do that. Yeah, um... I think... I think we're about to meet a, with a grim fate, Ninten. Uh, gorilla, huh? Let's try to run away. Oh, we did! And we learned a new PSI power. I mean, as soon as we fail to run away from one of these battles, we're done for, right? Okay, these hyenas might run away. <laughs> they just might. And if we can critical hit, we'll one-shot them. Okay, they're just grinning right now. Oh, uh, wait. I was confused for a moment there. It said Hyena A ran away, and yet they both did. That was interesting. Uh, we have an alligator here. We need to run away from you as well, my friend. There we go. Here we have the superintendent's office. There's a strange noise here. We have an antidote, that's not any help to us at all. <laughs> oh, there's random encounters inside? Oh yeah, we have flies. I forgot about these guys. These guys will call in reinforcements, which makes them very annoying to deal with, with especially with only one party member. Let's keep trying to run away. Ninten- Oh, Killed by a fly, of all the ways to go. Ninten! Ninten! You seem to be worn out from fighting. One more time? With his strength regained, Ninten returned once more to the fighting scene. Do your best, Ninten. Oh, we're all the way back at the house. Well, I need to get back to where I was off screen. And I also could probably do with a bit of grinding just to make the journey a bit more secure. Um, and the next level requires 140 experience. That's quite a bit. That is quite a bit. I'm not sure if I will do any grinding or if I'll just buy the bat and go back. 